barn right now for Mojo. First, we're going to see Anthony Trotter, a guy who uh, four wins and three losses has actually kind of stepped into the promoter shoes a little bit himself. Oh, and now Trotter is, MMA. Now Trotter's it makes legacy. sense. Yeah, now he's uh, decided to uh, really focus more on, on the fighting career. I know he's 32 years old, maybe trying to give it one last run uh, and really focus uh, all of his energy on fighting. But I know he is a guy who tried out for the Ultimate Fighter last year. He did, interesting. Had his last fight at, uh, at heavyweight. This was a 195-pound catchweight, a little bit, lo probably a little bit lower than what he wants to fight. He's probably a 205er, naturally. Uh, but meeting Billy at a, at a catchweight at 195 pounds, and a guy with some heavy, heavy hands. And you see him representing the AFS Academy, Adam Fritz, and, and company here in his corner. And you'll see Adam in uh, a main event of the next Hard Rock show. Another uh, very down. talented young fighter. Another guy who's got a lot of potential. Anthony Trotter coming off of a win over TJ Eskew uh, at uh, Warrior Anthony FC November Trotter. to Remember in his last bout. That was his first fight since 2009. And though he's also tried to do some pro boxing and, and different things, a very well-rounded guy. Pro boxing, you said. Interesting. I uh, think he's like 2-0 and in pro boxing. He was a finalist wow. to fight, uh, potentially fight Roy Jones Jr. on a, on a big pay-per-view card. Roy Jones Jr.? Yeah. We'll have to talk more about that later. Very it was like a uh, like a fan vote, and uh, he was he was one of the finalists. Wow! We got Mojo Horn on the on the way, and the true veteran, Billy Mojo Horn, again, who's been around this game longer than most. Some maybe even longer than some guys have been alive. <laughs> Billy, when I liked, I said that. But seriously, Mojo is a true veteran of sport, very well versed. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt under Jim Kelly. Has trained everywhere across the board with Rich Franklin, Neil Rowe, you name it. Boxing, grappling, wrestling, the whole nine yards. He totally is the full package. And you got to wonder, you got to wonder what Trotter's game plan is going to be, knowing I, how well rounded yeah. his opponent is. I think, you know, honestly, in this one, I think Billy, you know, in a lot of his fights, he's, he's tried to take it to the ground, even against grapplers. He does have five straight wins. I think that you might see Billy trying to get this one to the ground, and you might see. Trotter trying to land that big shot on the feet. Yeah, I think we could see that contrast. Like I said, Billy's got a really, and another guy who's very strong, just a true seasoned veteran, but you just never know in the fight game. All it takes is one shot, and that can change everything. This could be a big stepping stone for uh, Trotter if he, can, if he can take out Billy. And I think that uh, Billy's been around long enough. I don't think he really wants to be anybody's stepping stone. Yeah. And he proved that when he when he went to, went up to Bellator and fought at Bellator 78 and, and beat Trey Houston. Exactly. And Mojo always comes game and ready to fight. And you see Rich and Beth watching very closely. Mojo is a fighter, and he always brings the heat. That's one thing about Mojo. You never have to doubt that he'll bring a fight. Should be interesting in our co-main event. Pretty close in size, everything looks virtually the same. A little bit longer in trot. Mojo again, always ready. Should be an interesting yeah. one. Mojo, uh, you know, also tall, I believe he's about 6'1", but Trotter, 6'2", 6'3". Seems to be a little bit longer. Mojo typically comes out very fast. Should be interesting to see what happens see Trotter here. Trotter popping that jab early. There comes a kick from Mojo. Good footwork from Mo. Moving nice and loose. Finding his rhythm. Trotter looking to back him up. Got to be careful. Nice kick from Mojo. Very clean. And this might be one of our most technical fights of the night. Mojo scrapping oh, it out. big shots there. Nice. Looks for his double. But this is where Mojo is strong. This is where he really leans on guys and makes them feel miserable. Trotter, Trotter doing a great job, though, lowering his hips. Has a good base here so far, at least. But again, Mojo strong, getting his underhook. Now his... His signature body lock bear hug where he takes down most of his guys. And here comes a trip. Nice trip takedown there. Nice outside trip. Already in half guard. That's the, that's the benefit of, of getting a trip as opposed to a single leg or a double leg. It's a lot easier to end up in half guard on top. And it's safer too. It really is. It takes out the chance of like a big shot potentially coming. And not trying to recover here, it looks like, but Mojo doing a great job pinning the leg, heavy hip pressure. A lot of guys in, in MMA, especially professional MMA, prefer maybe even half guard to a, a side control or full mount. It's a lot easier to land elbows from this position. Correct. 
There's an elbow already from Mojo. And Mojo being patient, and Mojo does a lot of damage here. Mojo's finished a lot of fights from this half guard position. Yeah, I know his fight with Dante Wade, it was a Ooh, and nice, clinic of elbows Nice guard from pass from Mojo. He's looking to hip switch potentially, and he passes the guard. Now a guillotine might be coming, and Mojo loves Prior that guillotine. Here, though. And there goes Mojo looking for the front headlock, as predicted. Now using a cradle to keep him down. Again, still might be thinking about, no, spinning to the back. Very good Trotter transit. Doing a good job oh, and maybe a big feet. throw. Mojo being smart. Trotter doing a good job of keeping a low base. And there comes that body lock that we talked about from Mill. Already has the back, has the hooks Mojo in. Mojo looks a lot of finishes via rear naked choke. Doing a good feeding the hand across. It's hard to see from our angle where they're at. And the by triangle, this isn't looking good for Trot. Mojo is going to be patient here. You see that, that deep body triangle in. Yeah, and that looks the like, and there's and a there's tap the right ball. away. Good job by Mojo Horn. Six wins in a row now. Great Moves execution. Moves up to 14 and four on his career. Great execution by Mojo. Gets in and gets out. Takes almost no damage at all, if any. And yes, it would be great to see Mojo on that next stage. You know, the big, the big stage, the next step. But he's at a point where it's really up to him what he wants to do. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 15 seconds. Number one, your winner, doing a tap out, rear naked choke, Billy Mojo. Another quick submission win for Mojo. Big crowd behind him, too. Seems the ladies are taking control of Mojo tonight. Folks, your winner, Mojo! What's going on, guys? <laughs> well, uh, you've got like probably the hottest fan club that uh, I've seen yet to date. I think it's your haircuts. Mojo's always got a posse with him, that's for sure. Nice, it's that only style, unfortunately. So, uh, the jiu-jitsu, the rear the left hand, trying to keep you out of it. How deep, how quick, how awesome? Uh, man, honestly, I got, I got the best coach in the world, man, for jiu-jitsu, Jim Kelly, it's insane, jiu-jitsu, Kelly. Looks like it's somebody on the ground, I never have any problems, especially if I got back. back. You look at my record, it's all rear naked chokes. That should tell you something. He likes naked. Give it up for your winner, <laughs> Mojo! Sorry, guys, I just want to thank my sponsors, uh, Mark, they carry Toyota, Jeep, uh, and Mojo is a carpenter Good by job. trade, just an interesting inside <laughs> scoop for you guys. But again, a quick W for Mojo, Mr. Ace Franklin watching from afar. There's October the announcement, 15th. October 15th, Hard Rock MMA oh, returning wow. to Turf War. I believe that will be Hard Rock MMA 84. Man, will Robbie be on that Did one? We shall see. <laughs> but we are going to introduce our pro main event.